Hey guys, Bill here, and we are live on the moon. And uh, I think this is going to be a really, really, really good night. The moon's very, very clear. Uh, I've got it in focus pretty good. And you see that bar down at the bottom there? It disappears. That means that I can give you the benefit of the full screen, uh, which is really, really nice. First thing I noted right here, we're going to go to the shadow line on the left, but there's our egg slash spaceship I've been showing you for the last three uh, videos. Let's uh, work our way up the shadow line and start our survey. Our survey of high adventure. You'll note that line right there is that cut that went through this uh, mountain range that we've been showing you for the last several evenings. And, uh, and you'll also note that the uh, there is some color on the moon tonight. See the uh, the variance in the it goes from gray. It's going to be more grayish as in the in the bright uh, sun, but as you get closer to the uh, to the edge. Matter of fact, I think is that an artifact? Let me turn the contrast down just a bit. No, it's not. Okay, I'll leave it like it is. Okay, let's work our way over to the to the shadow line. And I think this is a good point right there just to double check our focus. See these uh, little things sticking up? They're good focus points. I think that's pretty good. Okay. And let's uh, go over to the shadow line and let's work work our way up and see what we have uh, new on the moon tonight. I don't know about you, but if you've been watching uh, these videos, uh, oh, oh, see the uh, contrast is too it's too high stop it and turn turn the contrast down a little bit okay see usually when you're starting this thing you gotta kinda fiddle with the controls and they really do vary Turn the brightness uh, down a little bit. It's pretty bright tonight. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over. Look at that strange. It looks like a a river used to be there. Lava flow. If they had lava, I don't think they had lava on the moon because I think it was artificial. Okay. Now let's go uh, north on the shadow line. Looks like a flat mesa to me. Um, by the way, I'm still fighting that focus control on the PC. I haven't been able to get it uh, quite. Matter of fact, let me look at that focus right there. Quite the way. I want because it's just not I think my memory's coming in tomorrow and uh, 
and when it does come in take gig and I think that'll take care of a lot of my uh, uh, a lot of my problems look at this spectacular let me stop that if I can see the uh, these cradles craters here are uh, puckered out and that one right there looks like a hornet a hornet crater hornet nest crater where it comes out of the ground these are the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I've looked at books. I've looked at pictures. But I think until you see it live like this on video, Mike and I went, uh, Mike has a farm. And uh, I, I went to... Uh, East Bernard today and picked up uh, let's stop right there that's a pretty I can hit enter we went to East Bernard today I, I helped him with I got a pickup truck and I we made two trips I hauled two tons of goat food and fish food and all kinds of critter food two tons took most of the morning Okay, let's uh, try to see that crater right there. It seems like that's just a little bit too bright for my for my liking. That's that's better. I'm looking up at the moon right now, and it's a very bright moon. So I, I kind of think that this is kind of what we're into. Whenever it gets bright, it's just going to be bright. Okay, let's keep on going north. Look at that really, really, really shallow, shallow crater right there. And this must be some kind of a mesa, or I think they call, call them Mars, M-A-R-E's. There's a name for all these. Doesn't that look like a little uh, a giraffe? See, there, there's the rear legs right there, the front legs, the body, and then the neck. <laughs> the Giraffe Mountains. How about that? There's another another alien base right there. And uh Let's just sit on that one for a minute and look at this and study it. I I go back and watch these videos after I posted them in HD on uh, YouTube. Let me try to focus it a little bit. And and I'm talking to you and I'm saying things and this and that and everything else and then basically I on the screen see things that I don't even see when I'm I'm talking to you about it there's so much detail on these uh, getting out of focus I think that's better this focus control is so sensitive it'll be a lot better guys when I get that focus running on my PC um, correctly okay Another shell. Look at that little crater right there. It's a shallow and it's got a little trench to the crater right next to it. 
every time we go up here and take a look at the moon, no telling what we're going to run into. And I really like the idea of filling that screen up completely with the, the video. Look how these uh, create, let me stop it again. It fascinates me the way these craters form. See, there's there's definitely a ridge, uh, a, and, and I wonder if you were standing in front of that crater, if you couldn't even, it, it's going to be immense. And see, here, you, when you look into these craters, you think, well, they're just holes in the ground. Well, these aren't holes in the ground. These are holes with with mounds around the holes there you can see this definitively this crater here has got uh, a real high hornet's nest kind of uh, base very very unusual stuff Let's continue going on Got my Starbucks uh, iced coffee with me right here. Let me uh, let me turn the uh, exposure rate off, automatic exposure off, and just kind of work it down. It's too bright. That looks better. Turn the brightness up. Nope. You can see those artifacts. You gotta just gotta fiddle with these controls. See, it's too bright coming down in the in the corner there. Just we'll leave it like that. Got another camera in today. Uh, uh, made in Germany. I'm not sure we're one of these. Oops. Looks like I pushed the wrong button. I'm a newbie, guys. I'm learning this thing. I'm still on the top, but I kind of swung swung over. Let's go back and pick up where we left off. Oh, let's stop it right there and look at that. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, now this is very, very strange stuff. These look like pedestals, like mushrooms. Now, I'm not seeing things. This is exactly what I see. I see three of them, that they're up in the air, way up in the air. Did you ever read the, uh, the wonderful story, uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne? And they're exploring this uh, subterranean world, and there's these immense mushrooms it's a mushroom forest and that's what these look like they look like they're immense mushrooms on the moon so I'm gonna call this the mushroom forest you got one right there where my my pointer is and see the sides right there and right there and then the the the, the pedestal and then the 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 top like where the mushroom uh, cap is and then over here you don't see it but there is a pedestal right there and then this is the cap and then this same thing there's a pedestal and then this is a cap and these are definitely weird <laughs> I'm looking for weird things guys and it's right next to a fallen angel base look at that right there a base wow Isn't that something? Okay, now look look here. Here's something we saw yesterday. Let me turn the... Uh, I can control... When it's this bright, I'm learning. I can control the... I can control the brightness with a camera control. It's called the exposure. And before, I had it on auto, and I'm right now 
adjusting it manually. This is that crater we saw uh, yesterday evening. A big crater, okay, and we had two craters that were large on the edge, and then one, two, three, four craters right in the middle. And see, look tonight, the the visibility is so good we can even see better. We can see a little crater right there and a little crater like there, right there. We couldn't see those uh, yesterday evening. And there's another, uh, there's a little crater right in the middle of that crater. See, it's one thing that, it's one thing when you can see the craters within the craters, but if you take a look over here, that is not a, a crater within a crater. That is a mound, and that is alien made. And look at our mushroom forest just sticking up in all its glory in the back. Mushroom forest, guys. This is just like a, you know, a kind of adventure. Huckleberry Finn uh, floating down the Mississippi, Missouri River. Uh, Tom Sawyer exploring the caves of Missouri. Bill, Bill Bryson exploring the moon every, every night. <laughs> I feel like an explorer. I'm seeing things for the first time and I'm sharing them with you. You've never seen that before in a picture. Did you ever see that in a picture? Never. I don't know why, you know, they don't show us things like that. Let, let's do our outer, uh, our outer circumference. Yeah, look at that. This is a very bright moon. This camera is a very good camera. Look at these uh, craters. All these little craters. All over the place. Right now, it looks like we're on the top of the moon, but this is actually reversed. The image, we're on the bottom of the moon. Anyhow, Mike and I went to uh, East Bernard. And they uh, they make they bag their own feed. They mix it, you know, to order. And I took uh, some video uh, of that whole process. Uh, they got these conveyors with these bags. Look at all those little craters. This is a very very good telescope. All those little tiny. You can see them right there, 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 there. And so I got some video of that. Uh, I don't know if you guys know it, but I do have a Facebook page, and you're welcome to become my friend. Just search uh, for uh, Bill Bryson in Richmond, Texas. And uh, I'll befriend you, and then you can see... Uh, My picture of my uh, East Bernard granary. I really think that one of these days, guys, this segment right here, which to you is boring, is going to, there's going to be a UFO pop out and fly all over the place and circle on our screen. It'll blow you away. See, I'm, I'm a newbie. I'm, 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 I'm hitting the wrong button. There's a. Well, we didn't. We went down a little bit. Let me go up a little bit. To make sure we didn't miss anything. No, we're okay. Let's go down. I'll get better at this every uh, every go around. I really think that uh, the screen though lo should look pretty good. 
I spent a considerable effort trying to figure out this whole thing. And you can see that uh, that taskbar, all I had to do was turn it, you know, to hide it. And, uh, and that took care of that. And then I had to figure out the, the screen software. Mike and I was talking about, oh, there I do it again. Let me turn it on six. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. There it is. Put it on three and enter. This is a pretty nice control. This uh, it's called Next Remote by Nextstar for Celestron. It's that one uh, hand control. It looks like the hand control. It's on your screen, but I figure if you push that button in the middle by mistake, which is easy to do, uh, it it does a six times, an eight times, a twelve times jump, and that's not what what I want. There might be a way for me to disable it, and I'll look into all that. But uh, there's another way I can control it as well, and I might do that too. See, all these are uh, they look like clouds, but they are not. They're um, a mountain range. And uh, if the shadow line was right over that, we would we would see exactly what it is. Now, can you imagine? I'm 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 just using this uh, camera with the telescope. I'm not using any any other kind of. Uh, lens now if I put a Barlow on here guys look at that there's our there's our ferret and see he's actually looks like he's facing another way I think this we're wobbling guys we're wobbling or the moon's wobbling or there we're both wobbling because this thing is, looks in a different orientation every time we look at it see the two beady eyes the little nose and he's pointed right up next to that crater. That's why I call him a ferret because the ferret has a little beady eyes. Okay. I'm anxious to see what our uh, our needle ship looks like this time. The first time I took it and I went back and looked at it, it was vertical and last night when I took it it was at a, it was off by 10 degrees to the right which in, indicates that the, something tilted maybe it'll be vertical again tonight I don't know it'll be interesting to see Now let's look let's look at that look at that it looks like a I'm gonna go up there and look at that that that's looks kind of strange it see the uh, let me adjust the exposure down. No, I can't. Doesn't do any good. See, it looks like a little smile. It it may just be the the rock, a rock formation, a moon, rock mountain, shape like that. It's just a strange shape. And looky here, this is kind of neat. Here you got a crater. With two eyes, and a smile. That's a smiley face on the moon see that there's the crater 
right there two eyes and and the smiley face okay, I'm gonna turn the exposure up just a dab okay I got a three millimeter um, lens for my telescope today, a pretty good one. When you uh, look at that uh, crater right there, see it's it's round. There's something in the middle of it, and it looks like it has a either either it looks like a, a dome or a, a mound. And here it looks like right in the middle of this crater, it's very hard to see. Look at that. We got a UFO, guys. See it? Henning Henning ran across one of those a UFO. That was that was clearly a UFO. It went like on the screen and went like that. Now you think about what you're seeing. I'm focused on the surface of the moon. A UFO is flying above the moon and flies just like that over the moon. It'll be a, it'll appear slightly out of focus, just like Hennings did too. That was a UFO on the moon. A UFO. That was a fallen angel spaceship, guys. A spaceship on the moon, flying around in circles. It wasn't even straight. It, it did a, a loop de loop, flying a loop de loop on the moon. No doubt. No doubt at all. Now that should just make you terribly excited. We saw a mushroom forest and we saw a, a spaceship doing loop the loops on the moon. Wow. And that's what that that's what happens. You just kind of look around, you look do your thing, and then all of a sudden something pops out at you. It seems like every night we see something different. Every night we see something different. Okay, that's our cut right there, and there's our crash spaceship or slash egg. Let's uh kind of go over here now let's go just kind of go up it's hard to see now because it's in the light and it's bright but that's the what I was calling a druid stone hedge on the moon You say, well, Druids didn't do anything at Stonehenge. Well, that's the, that's what the archaeologists say. They say they used the Stonehenge as a ceremonial uh, you know what that looks like? Look at that. There's a nose. There's the goggles. That looks like Nintendo's Star Fox. You know, the guy that, the character in the <laughs> I love to play video games. Uh, haven't in a while, but well, let's do this. Let's let's go right, right to there, and let's now mess around with our controls because we can get in. Say, oh, I'm going to say auto. Default. I'm going to go back and hit the default on everything and see what it looks like. See, it's too bright. And I am using, uh, and see, when you do the default, you got that contrast. Turn the contrast all the way down. And uh, turn the gamma down.
as I start using uh, this, I'll become very comfortable and familiar with the controls. And there's our train. Somebody was asking about the dogs. They're not my dogs. The neighbor, uh, the neighbor has to contrast it just too much there. The neighbor has the dogs. Let's let's go up north here to s just to see if we can see that uh, needle spaceship. There's the uh, the coughing mountains. I know it looks like it's kind of washed out. That's because we're not we're not in the, the shadow. I just want to go up here and see if I can see that uh, needle and see which way it's going. Turn the brightness down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I mean, we might not even be able to see it, but I got to try. I got to try. Wasn't that uh, mushroom forest kind of neat? Mike and I were on. Uh, I was talking about uh, being in East Bernard, and uh, I wonder. No, it's not long enough. No, no, no. I'm looking for the. I'm looking for the needle. No. Nope. Let me go to the shadow line. See, okay, we're right in the in the brightness of the uh, let me get it readjusted there you go it's got that buffer and it's taking my keystrokes and just being obstinate now. Let me try to see if the, maybe the focus is out of which just the focus. Okay. That's better. But you can see it looks so much better in the in the uh, shadow line. Mike and I were talking. Uh, I was telling you uh, about different things, and uh, one of the things that came up was if you're into astronomy, you know that cloudy nights is one of the largest forums for astronomers, wannabe astronomers, would-be astronomers in the world at least it appears that way. There's a lot of people that uh, that use it. But if you go up there and look for video, videography, people that are doing live video, there aren't very many people at all. And we're trying to figure out why in the hell people don't do this. I mean, this is a blast going around on the moon and looking at everything and finding mushroom forests and 
Now let's we got a better focus. Let's just kind of go down here and see if we can find this dam. That's looks like a straight thing, but I don't think that's. Let me center that. I don't think that's the. Maybe it is. Uh, I bet you that is our needle. We, um, see that straight line? We started out, it was vertical. Last night it was about 10 degrees, and that's about 15 degrees. So it seems to be changing every every night, guys. Um, I bet you that's it. Just to make sure I'll continue going going south. Anyhow, we were saying that not very many people do video of the moon. You go on YouTube and do a search. Who Henning's doing it? Uh, that other guy, and I mean John Williams. There, there's not hardly anybody doing live video from the moon. And uh, and I think the reason is the cameras that people have been using have been pretty lousy. But this is probably the first high-definition camera that I've ever seen. Most of the cameras, these, these guys spend a whole bunch of money on these cameras, but they're not designed for video. They're designed for still uh, video, to take pictures of deep space objects. But this camera really does bring out the details. It's, it's way, way cool. And there's a coughing. Uh... Well, let's go over here. I'm going to close it up here in a minute, but I just want to do one more thing. I remember, I think that when we were looking at this crater here yesterday, it stuck way up in the air. And I'm wondering if that's the one or there was one up above it. Let's go up here a little bit further. The light sometimes plays tricks on you and you think You think the crater, the hornet's next, the hornet's nest crater, sticks way, way up. It looks like it's extended, and then when you look at it like, like this, it looks like it's flat. But you're you're looking at it in a different, in a different light. Just like looking at those mushrooms, we saw the stems on those things. Can you imagine if you were a little a spaceman up there walking around on this thing? You know, just you were standing right there looking up at this massive mountain range. Absolutely stunning stuff, guys. Well, I'm going to cut it. We did our survey. We saw a mushroom, a mushroom forest on the moon. We saw a spaceship do loop the loops. You can't get much better than that, guys. You can't get much better than that. Clear skies.